everyone. I had a request uh, for a couple of you to find out how I am able to auto log in to my SSH account with my um, Bluehost hosting provider. And for those of you who are questioning exactly what I mean, if I go to my shell account, my username is automatically provided and password is automatically accepted. So I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to go in and generate a key, a key pair, and then uh, incorporate them into your Bluehost or your Gator account. Most accounts that provide cPanel access will work exactly the same way that this is working. So let's get started. Let me exit out of my shell account. And what I want you to do, go into your browser and just simply type in download putty. There are several um, sites uh, but I want you particularly to go to this very first site, which should appear, which is C-H-I-A-R-K. Click on this link. And for those who do not have Putty already installed, you want to go in and grab Putty EXE and Putty Gen EXE and download both of those. If you already have Putty, as we discussed in class before, I know so several of you do, just grab the Putty Gen EXE file and download it. Once the download is completed, I've already downloaded it, so I'm you know, not going to go through that process again. But once it's um, completed, simply click on the Putty Key Generator icon, click Run. Once that is has opened, what I want you to do is make sure the SSH2 RSA has been selected. And I am just going to take the number of bits being generated and increase that just to add a little bit more complexity to the key that I'm going to generate. And what I'm going to do now is click on the generate button and it will start creating that the key for me. While you're waiting for the key to be generated, take your mouse and just move the cursor around inside of this box. That will help the process kind of speed up a little bit. Because of the complexity of the key that we're generating, it'll take anywhere between 20 to 40 seconds for the generation process to complete. And moving this mouse inside of this box helps speed up the process. So do that. Give it a few more seconds for the generation process to complete. And what we will do after that is then save our key pairs. Um, pull them into cPanel, and then set them up so that we can um, access our SSH shell automatically. All right, so my key has now been generated. What I want to do is come to the very top, starting at this SSH, all the way down to the very last digit. And I just want to copy this to my clipboard, so Control-C. Now what I want to do is go in and save that public key. Remember where you are saving this key. What I will do for an example here is go to my desktop, actually. I will create a folder specifically for this demo. You can create any folder anywhere. The critical part is just to remember where the folder is that's going to house your key pairs inside of it. So let's just say this is key Bluehost uh, demo, okay? So I am creating a folder on my desktop called key Bluehost demo. I am entering that folder right now. And what I'm going to do now is save the key, the public key that I just created. So let me give it, I'll, I'll just give it the same name for this demo. This is demo and this is the public key. And I will click save here. Now, same step, I will go in and click on the save private key. This warning message is asking me, am I sure that I want to save this key without the passphrase? What that's referencing is this key passphrase field here. If I wanted to add another layer of security, you know, in addition to this complex key, I could add a passphrase, which can be anything, you know, any sentence, any long word, you know, any, you know, computer generated um, password that you want. The problem is when I go to log into my shell, it's going to ask for that pass key. That kind of defeats the purpose of the auto login. So yes, I am sure I do not want to have a passphrase. So I click yes, we are saving again. And let's do this one more time, except this time I am creating the private key and I'm going to give it this extension of PPK. This is a, still my same folder that I have on my desktop and I'll save that file there. 
Okay, and just to be sure, you know, because I'm about to close this file, you can leave it open if you like, but I usually immediately, immediately close the key generator application. I'm just selecting the key one more time, copying and pasting, making sure it's in my, um, making sure it's in my clipboard, and I am closing out of the generator. Now what you want to do is go into HostGator, your HostGator account into your cPanel, or your Bluehost account, you know, which is what I am using. Go in, get logged in. We had a discussion regarding LastPass, which is what I use to keep up with my 1 million passwords. So I will get logged into my cPanel once you are there. Simply scroll down to the security section. Your cPanel may look slightly different, you know, with various colors and layout, but most cPanel um, GUIs look the same and have, you know, the same sections. You want to look for the security section. You then want to click on the SSH shell access icon. When you get to the next screen, you want to click on the manage SSH keys. And what we want to do now is import what the public key that we just created. I'm going to give this a name and let's you know, keep it exactly the way it is. I'll use the C key, key C panel demo. And I will scroll down to the public key box. I will paste in that key that we copied from the putty key generator and I will click import. Give it half a second and you'll, you should receive a confirmation message that that key had been generated. Click on the back to manage keys and you will see here, here's the key that we just created. But notice that it is not authorized. So the key is ready to use, but it's not going to work when we go to our cPanel because we have to provide it with authorization. So simply click on the manage authorization link, click the authorize button, and that key is now ready to use. Our last step in setting this up is now going to be to go in and open up PuTTY itself. Run PuTTY, and what you will want to do uh, for your account, I'm using my account now, but you'll be using your account, put in your host name, and in my case, it's lfwebs.biz, um, click on the data link that is under the connection heading inside of this left sidebar. What you'll want to do is add now your username. In my case, it's LFWebsBI. Add your username that you have for your Bluehost account, your HostGator account, or whichever hosting provider you have. Next, come down to the SSH section. Click on authentication or off in this particular case. And this is where it comes in. Um, you know, it's critical to know where you saved your key because we're now going to go and find the private key and pull that into PuTTY. PuTTY's going to hold on to the private key. cPanel is holding on to your public key. And they're going to check and confirm that there is a match. So, you know, again, remember on my desktop inside of this folder, here sits my private key. I'm going to simply select it. I'm going to go back to the session area. And what I'm going to do is give this a name and we'll just continue with the trend that we've had thus far. Key, Bluehost, and this is demo. Type in a session name. You can name this whatever you like. Um, you know, make it descriptive so you can remember it because as you can see, I have several keys in here. So I need to make them description descriptive so I can know which key applies, you know, to which hosting provider I may have or which, um, you know, domain I'm trying to access at the time. Click save so that this session is saved. So what you'll notice here is that that key demo is now in my save sections. And what this will do here, I'll cancel out so I can show you. I'll go back into PuTTY. Click run again. So now instead of having to go back and type in, you know, all of those parameters that we added, which you know, kind of defeats the entire purpose, we can simply double click or just click on the item and click load. I always double click. This will take me to my shell script and it will log me in. And there you have it. And as you can see, you are now inside of your account and your files. You can go straight to your public files and see all the web space spaces that you've created. All right. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care.